America International backstage about to compete. Danielle and Steve Hartzell, they are now being coached, at least in part, by Jason Dungeon, the two-time U.S. champion. Another important member of the Hartzell team right now has joined Marianne Hebbett. Marianne? Thanks very much, Terry. I'm here with Georgia Hartzell, Danielle and Steve's mother, and I know their father, Larry, is somewhere else in the arena. Why is that? because we don't want to jinx the kids. <laughs> Superstition. Right. <laughs> now, I know it's taken both parents to financially support not one, but two kids in 12 years of skating. How tough has it been? It's been a struggle. We've had to sacrifice a lot, but it's all worth it. How much do you think you've spent? Uh, at least 150000 to $200,000. Were there people who tried to discourage you and said, what the heck are you spending all this money for? Yes. People said, you know, what's the chances of going to the Olympics? And back then, we didn't, weren't even thinking about that. But we said, well, my kids, I can't tell my kids not to dream. So it's been worth it. Yes. Ready to watch and skate? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Let's do that. Okay. Terry, back up to you. All right, Marianne, so mom and dad aren't sitting together, but there are plenty of fans here for the Hartzell. This is where they live and train, and Danielle and Steve in third place and a real chance of winning. Well, they've changed their whole perspective this year. They're focusing on themselves and their style. Triple twist. And a lot of power and a lot of speed. Music, Romeo and Juliet. This is their throw, triple salka, that back inside edge takeoff. Very nicely done, very solid, very much in control. And coming up is a lift that they invented, the heart attack lift. <laughs> Play on their name a little bit. And here it comes. She's up upside down, almost like she's doing a handstand. Probably gives her parents a heart attack watching this. <laughs> side-by-side -side triple toe loops. She doubled it, and he had trouble on that landing. Looks like she didn't go in with an attack of that jump. If you notice, this is a very traditional pair performance, free skating performance. not setting out to break rules but they're very powerful and very strong Danielle and Steve in third place heading into this free skate and that's where they finished at the US Nationals last year they captured the bronze medal edge. Nicely done. They do this very well. They make it look very easy. Single, he doubled it. Not good unison here. there on the 
landing at that star lift. This is a very tough performance in the sense that their content is very strong, very powerful. It's a little bit mechanical in the sense that they don't give it a, a, a glow or a, an up and down presence or a, a relaxation point between it. choreography enough in their program to make a real complete package. But they have improved since last season. Well, this could be an event that takes them to the next level on the senior level. They were hoping for that, at least confidence-wise. As they won a bronze medal at the U.S. Championships a year ago, Danielle Hartzell and Steve Hartson. And this is a look at the problem they had on the opening side-by-side -side, triple toe loops. Watch, she takes off there and she only doubles it. He triples and has a hard time on the landing. And this is the heart attack lift that they invented. She's upside down. And it's a beautiful extension, very difficult, very effective lift. And it does give you kind of a heart attack watching them do it. They talked about it to us this week, just being here and competing against the level of skaters here gives them a lot of confidence. Their goal is to make the world team. Well, what I liked was when he just said to her, she said to him, I'm sorry, and he looked back at her and said, that's okay. Now, that's a brother-sister relationship. And they're used to this. They've been together on the ice for 12 years now. The second set of marks for presentation, 5.2 up to 5.5. So Danielle and Steve, with those marks, remain in third place overall. The pair's competition continues when we come back to Thrifty Car Rental Skate America International. 